All right, our city health expert Bryce Wild is here to talk about how we can keep our eyes healthy. And you recently, two years ago, went through a very scary personal experience with your eyesight. Shocking. Scary is an understatement. <laughs> it's why I'm such a huge eye health advocate, to be honest with you. Because before then, yes, I was checking my patient's eyes, you know, here and there as yeah. indicated. Now it's literally every new patient I see because I'm such a revere for these, as you referred to in the throat, peepers. Peepers. Uh, and we've got to keep them better. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm in Cuba. I'm cycling across Cuba, the country. And so it's very vigorous exercise. Wake up one morning. Uh, toward the tail end, and I can't see out of my left eye. Terrifying. Literally can't see. Nothing. So, uh, nothing. Black. Black. Done. Freaking out. In a foreign uh, country. I thought I had a stroke or some kind of a stroke or TIA, we call it. Yeah. Uh, about 10 minutes into that, I said, oh my gosh, I think I know what's happening, uh, which was what we call acute narrow angle glaucoma. So something that affects you right out of the. So I'll, I'll show you what it's actually happened. It's not very happened. common. It right? isn't very common. Well, it's the least common of the glaucoma. So this is an eyeball, and if we open up the eye, okay. uh, we have a posterior or behind and an anterior chamber. Okay. And it's got to circulate fluid around that in order to be healthy. Yeah. And that happens happens by these muscles in the front here in the iris, the color in our eye, and that wasn't happening for me. So it blocked, it got basically clogged, and that put a lot of pressure behind the eye and it basically affected the optic nerve. So you said nerve. it might have been because of your dehydration, a it might have been because things. you were wearing the, the protective, uh, what do you call it? Well, the, I was actually wearing a, an eye mask, an eye mask. To, to block light, and that eye mask basically put a little bit more pressure than sure. I probably should have had on my eye, okay. and it put the pressure on the nerve, and I woke up and I could not see, so I freaked out. I ended up getting medical attention. I put a drop in there and that relieved the pressure. When I got home here to Toronto, I actually had a little eye poking with a, a laser through my iris and that's now rebalanced uh, the, uh, the, the fluid. The key is immediate <laughs> treatment. You said if you let this go too long, you could have remained permanently, permanently blind. blind. Yeah. So shocking statistics in Canada, that we actually experience over 5.5 million uh, cases every year that's and high. we're getting worse. Over the next 10 years, we're actually going to be 30% more into eye disease. So these are glaucomas of the world. We talked about that. Diabetic yeah. retinopathy, which coincides along with obesity and the trends towards eating poorly. We'll talk mm -hmm. about that. Uh, and retinitis, you know, all kinds of different diseases occurring. So yeah. what can we do to protect our eyesight? Well, let's start with good food, right? So what we're looking at here is a bunch of greens, uh, fruits and vegetables, orange, yellow. These are very high in carotenoids. Okay. That's really important. Sometimes we can't eat ourselves healthy, <laughs> unfortunately, know. and we got to turn towards supplementation. So what I'm talking about here is very, very high in lutein and okay. zeaxanthin. Okay. Have you ever taken these things before? No, but I know lutein is in uh, cooked tomatoes, like tomato sauce, right? Bingo. Is it Italian? You got to eat more of that to get your. <laughs> so guys with prostate issues got to eat more of this. But yes. we're talking about the eyes as well. So yes. Preservision, the Arids formula. This is by Bosch and Lom. These guys put out a great formula that actually prevents age-related macular degeneration. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. And then this one, if you want some eye candy, literally, literally. and figuratively, they put out a little gummy called Occuvite. So a couple of these a day and you're getting all of the necessary for kids and too. for kids too yeah. now for contact lens wearers you see the, the the smartphones and computers are drying our eyes out we're not blinking as much the ultra Bosch and Lom. This is for moisture lock. So we're staring at all four screens. So here's a tip. Yeah. The 20-20-20 rule. Okay. Look somewhere 20 feet away approximately every 20 minutes while you're on a screen for 20 seconds. That is going to save your eyes. So what's happening though is we're getting dry eye syndrome and as Canadians we're experiencing more and more of this. Yeah. Staring at our one of our four screens and we're not blinking. We're blinking 24 percent or sorry 64 percent less. And you think of kids with the video games. They don't want to blink because they don't want to miss they it. They keep their eyes open all the time. So if you're yeah. wearing contacts and you do, I don't, but if you're wearing contacts, I learn about this through my patients the and moisture. this pH balancing solution which actually helps to not just sanitize but yeah, also yeah, yeah, yeah. keep the pH balance. Wonderful technology. So 20, 20, 20. Every 20 minutes look 20 feet away for 20, for 20 seconds. seconds. Done. That's Absolutely. a great rule. Thank yep. you. For more information at Wild on Health, over to you, Russ.